watching Tarantula TV. If you're in the tarantula hobby, I'm quite sure the title of this video made you absolutely cringe. And we here at Tarantula TV can't wait to see some of the comments on this one from the people that read the title without watching the video. So let's find out. Are tarantulas poisonous? This is a far too common question from those outside the tarantula community. What? You have pet tarantulas? Aren't they poisonous? How many times have your friends and family asked this quite annoying and cringeworthy question? And what's our normal response? No, they're venomous, not poisonous. If you bite it and get sick, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you get sick, it's venomous. I know you hate this question, but secretly love to show off your zoological prowess to your uneducated friends. Not being afraid of a little controversy, and being the tarantula geeks we are, we decided to look a bit deeper into the subject and act like true tarantula hunters, leaving no rock unturned. We spoke with some of the top players in the science community, from professors of biology to television documentary hosts and spider experts, all of which immediately shared in the general consensus that spiders are, in fact, not poisonous. Case closed. Moving on. But, then... A single message received by Tarantula TV added a tiny shred of doubt in our curious minds. A representative from the group, Relax, I'm an Arachnologist, had this to say. Great question. The only Theraphosid that I know of that can technically be termed poisonous is the Australian species, Selenotypus plumipace. This is due to a naturally occurring, rather potent insecticide present within the biological makeup of its venom. So feasibly, if you were to somehow ingest the venom, it would be poisonous. Particularly if you're an insect. Wait a minute, tarantula community. Could this actually be true? Could Australia be home to the tarantula that we might technically label as poisonous? Leave it to the continent that gave us some of the most venomous and unique creatures on the planet to be home to a potential species that may no longer allow us to answer the cringeworthy question without taking a slight pause. According to Wikipedia, the Selenotypus genus includes one of the largest of Australia's Theraphosids. At present, the only recognized species within this genus is Selenotypus plumipace. But this is expected to change, as it is becoming apparent that the genus has a wide distribution, and at present, Australian Theraphosids as a whole are poorly classified. Its venom contains the most powerful insecticidal peptide in the world of spiders. So could it be plausible? Can this Australian species, having the most potent insecticidal properties of all the Theraphosids, be harmful to humans if consumed? We took our findings and this earth-shattering question to some of the top experts in the field, whose full responses will be linked below, but in general, this is what we found. Arachnophagy isn't as uncommon as you might think. People throughout history and on pretty much every continent have been consuming spiders with no reports of any deaths or even ill effects from the practice. A simple internet search will show articles and videos of indigenous cultures eating tarantulas as an important food source and show fried tarantulas being consumed in many Asian restaurants. Other mammals including shrews, mice, and bats regularly eat venomous creatures like spiders and scorpions and don't seemingly have any special protective venom-destroying enzymes that would keep them from being poisoned if it were in fact possible. The general consensus in the scientific community seems to support what we already know, that tarantulas are venomous, not poisonous. But what about our Australian species? Has there been any research on the effects of consuming this particular tarantula with the most potent insecticidal venom known? We dug into the reports, finding studies being done on spider venom in general, and the possibility of using this naturally occurring insecticide as an alternative to our current agricultural methods. But we were unable to find anything solid to support this particular claim. We think it can best be summed up by paraphrasing tarantula specialist Rick West. Scientific research is limited to more medically important species of spiders, those that impact us like widows, recluses, armed and funnel web species not our common hobby trade tarantulas. So the only information you'll find on the effects of human consumption of spiders will be anecdotal and or conjecture. This has never been an area of any study that I am aware of. So at the moment, there simply isn't any research being done on the consumption of Selenotypus plumipace and the effects of its venom once consumed. It may be the case that this species could technically be considered poisonous, which would be an unbelievable find in the hobby. But until we at Tarantula TV convince 100 people to live on a diet of nothing but Australian tarantulas and then document the effects, 
We will simply have to leave the conversation open for an amusing debate amongst the community. So for now, let's call this one plausible, pending scientific research. And remember, if this video did nothing to spark your interest and cast a tiny doubt on the venomous, not poisonous subject, just remember that knowledge comes from our unending thirst to find answers to questions. And we should be open to any and all questions from those outside the tarantula community, even the cringeworthy ones. We should be excited to answer the questions and share our passion with those who are willing to ask. So the next time you get that common question, tarantulas, aren't they poisonous? Don't be so quick to ridicule. Pause for a brief moment, take a deep breath, and think of us here at Tarantula TV before humiliating them in public. If you like this video, please help support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.